How many families live just one car repair, one hospital visit away from uh, e eviction? An eviction crisis. People are being forced out of their homes, and these days the emergency help, which saved them during COVID, is no longer a safety net. Good evening, welcome. I'm Katie Nordine. And I'm Neil McNeil. The number of eviction filings for the t first two months of the year in High Point has shot past the numbers for the same time period in 2022. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims has been looking into this today. She's live in High Point with the concerns housing advocates are expressing Aaliyah. Yeah, Neil, they worry that the trends that we are seeing now could reach pre-pandemic levels and very quickly. Now, here in High Point just last year, there were more than 4,000 evictions filed. Now the, now, the staff with the Center of Housing and Community Studies at UNCG, they come here to this courthouse and they count each filing. They want to find out why people are being evicted, what parts of the city it's happening in, and how many people it's happening to. With that more detailed and accurate knowledge, policymakers are going to be able to target more effectively the resources they have to uh, fight eviction. Bruce Rich is not surprised people are losing their homes. He worries about how fast it's happening. The disruptions and, in and interruptions uh, we saw for a couple of years during the pandemic kind of threw off what our expectations would be. It limited the ability of landlords to evict at the same rates as they were doing before. Rich leads the Center for Housing and Community Studies at UNCG. He attributes rising rents to the current crisis. Without attributing any evil motive to anybody, there is probably an extra temptation of landlords to uh, move a tenant out if he thinks or she thinks they can get a, a new tenant in at a higher uh, rental rate. Rich's team is using three programs to keep people in homes. The first involves compiling detailed eviction information. The second is a team project, which partners tenants with Legal Aid of North Carolina. And if available, they will also connect tenants to rental assistance. Finally, we have the Tenant Leadership Academy, which is a kind of training uh, program for tenants of low income and medium income apartment communities share with them information across a variety of subject matters, know your rights. Rich wants people to know there is help out there. There's help. If you're living precariously, if you feel like you're sliding toward an eviction situation, and here is a number that you can keep handy if you need help. That number is 336-334-3731. Now, it will connect you to eviction mediation. Again, that number is 336-334-3731. Live here in High Point, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News.